hierarchy tab. Our hierarchy tab in the command panel over here is used uh, to create a hierarchy linkage between two different objects. So first of all, let's have two different objects. So I'm going to have, uh, let's say, a sphere. And let's make, let's say, a teapot over here. All right. Now, let's link them together. I'll pick on the teapot. I'll come up to select and link. I'm going to hold on the teapot, drag it over, and touch my parent. My parent's going to be my sphere. I'm going to let go. And I've created a linkage. And so it's child is the teapot. The parent is um, the, uh, the sphere. I'm going to say select objects to exit the command. And now I have a linkage. Now, uh, I'm going to do a move command. I move it with the X, it moves, moves it with the Y, it moves, move with the Z, it moves. Okay, so now let's come over and pick on the child over here. Let's go into our hierarchy tab. In the hierarchy tab, we can control. I want to select the link info. So the linkage info, by default, there'll be pivot, and I can affect the pivot points that we've looked in the past, but I'm going to go over to my link info. In the link info, I inherit all the move, rotate, and scale properties of the parent. So whenever I move the parent, let's say I move it in XYZ, so does the child. If I uncheck one of them, so I restrict only the X and Y, watch what happens. Now when I pick on my sphere and I move it in my Y, my teapot moves. I move in my, my excuse me, my Y, the teapot moves, my X, the teapot moves. However, I move it in the Z, my teapot does not move. Okay, but if I move it in my X or in my Y, my teapot does move. So the Z is not required to have the parent-child relationship. So I can control those things in my linkages right here if I pick on the child I can control what is being inherited in my hierarchy so this hierarchy link information so I'm choosing my hierarchy button going to link information making sure my child is selected I can control what functions are being inherited in the move rotate and scale of the child object